Picking up where we left off, part B, we're going to find the arc length for x equals quantity 3y minus 1 raised to the 3 over 2. Um, and this time, it's the boundaries are defined by y. Um, y is between 1 and 2, as you see there. So now in this case, where we have um, a function defined this way as an x equals, and we're given uh, the limits in terms of y, uh, you might think we're going to need to convert everything to be in the more familiar style of um, you know, a function as a y equals with x boundaries. But it turns out with arc length, um, there's no need to do that at all. We can take it just as it is. We'll just think of everything as being with respect to y. So um, if we were to graph this uh, in Desmos, just kind of give us an idea. So it turns out uh, the graph, you know, it, it's almost got like, you know, that kind of square root sort of feel. Um, although, let's see, yeah, so it doesn't quite come down to the origin. It's a little bit above, um, and it kind of shoots up in this direction. And so we can identify 1 and 2 on the y-axis, um, you know, label those points. And, of course, we're finding that arc length connecting them. Feel free, you can graph stuff like this in Desmos. Uh, very cool. You can put in an x equals, and, uh, and it'll it'll come out very nicely. <clears throat> okay, so to go about this again, we don't need to do anything special. Um, let me just kind of show you my work here, and then I'll we'll pick it up here, and then go to their side. Okay, so we're gonna think. Um, you could think of it as f of y, although sometimes when we see y, you think of it as a g function. So g of y equals our 3y three, three minus 1 to the 3 over 2. So g prime y, well, no problem. 3 over 2, 3y minus 1 to the 1 half times 3. Let's clean that up to be 9 over 2, 3y minus 1 to the 1 half. So we've got our derivative function. However we want to call it, I, I call it g of y. You might even just call it x and x prime. You know, that's all fine too. Uh, notice again, we've got that coefficient out in front, which is nice because we're about to square. So when we square our derivative, right, we've got 81 over 4. And then what do you know? The 1 half power squared just cancels. And all it is is 3y minus 1. OK. So we're going to take this. Uh, once we've squared, and we're going to put it right on into our formula. So here, the arc length s equals the integral from 1 to 2, square root, 1 plus 81 over 4 times 3y minus 1. Don't forget, this is a dy, integrating with respect to y. And, you know, we got our variable y there as well. Okay, so what are we going to do with that? Very similar approach. I'm kind of kind of showing you too much a little bit. That's okay. Very similar approach to get started as the last one. Uh, we're going to factor out 81 over 4 right there. So there's the 81 over 4. What would become of the 1 if we factor 81 over 4? Well, 4 over 81, right? So when they multiply, we get back to the 1. Okay. And then that will go into the same group as plus 3y minus 1. And again, in the same style as the last example, that 81 over 4 can come all the way outside the square root, all the way out in front as 9 over 2. And let's go ahead and clean this up. 3y, 4 over 81 minus 1 would be negative 77 over 81, still inside of our square root. Now, if we look at this, once we've got it cleaned up, we're not going to uh, factor this thing like the last one. Right now, we have a different approach for sure. But turns out, uh, if you notice, this is a u substitution. Then we can knock this out pretty well. We're just going to say what's inside that square root is u. u equals 3y minus 77 over 81. So du is simply 3 dy. For the dy there, maybe I like to divide that 3 over, depending on how you learn u substitution. I'll think of it as 1 third du equals the dy. And so now, 
plugging in our u's, s equals 9 over 2. Uh, I'll just bring that 1 third all the way out in front. Integral from 1 to 2. It's going to be the square root of u. Why don't I just think of that as u to the 1 half and the du. And so continuing from here, uh, simplifying the 9 over 2 and the 1 third, we've got 3 over 2. And then the antiderivative there, well, that'd be 2 thirds u to the 3 over 2. Going to evaluate from 1 to 2. Of course, we got to put our u back in first. And so this one kind of falls together nicely, right? Because the 3 halves and the 2 thirds, that all just cancels out. And it's simply u to the 3 halves. So we've got 3y minus 77 over 81 to the 3 halves. And we're going to now evaluate from 1 to 2. And we can clean this up pretty quick. Plugging in the 2, I end up with 409 over 81 to the 3 over 2. Minus plugging in the 1, 166 over 81 to the 3 over 2. Now put that in a calculator to get your final answer. 8.41. There you have it. We've got one more example coming up in the next video.